is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is the 12th of January. So the paper issue sketch for today is from Cassie. Um, I am using my How to Kill a Kit with Style. This piece of paper was not in it. It was actually from a Jen Hadfield paper pen. Um, and the bottom paper is from the Maggie Holmes Open Book Paper Pad. So I decide that I want this color to be my, um, my corners, my torn areas. And after I tore them, I realized that I wanted them bigger. So I just tore the other corners off. Of course, I didn't tear them where you could see the white showing. So I had to go back and just tear this one a little bit. Now I did turn um, that paper so you get a little bit of that mixed media on the bottom and then what looks like a piece of tape. And I'm going to cut down my photos, not as small um, as the sketch. I'm actually going to cut them down to about four by four, um, but layered on each other just like in the sketch, they, um, they fit nicely. So I am going to go ahead and glue down those corners because I know that I want those to be like that. And in the sketch, it almost looks like the top, the middle piece is actually the one that was torn and laid on top of the bottom. So I did it just opposite, which is totally fine. Um, you can do it either way. This is how I chose to do it. So I have this scrap piece of paper from the Simple Stories Hearth and Home, and I am going to back my photos with that. And I'm just gonna do a single mat uh, all the way around, and then I am going to work on basically the layers. So um, the sketch, it looks like it has one mat. It's even black, kind of like mine. Um, and then it has all of this circle aspect to it. So you can take this so many different ways. Like this totally screams some um, mixed media. Um, you could totally use, you know, your dies or um, your cutting machine. And you could do any sort of, um, any sort of shape. It doesn't have to be circles. That's just kind of the idea that you're getting. So when I looked at it, I was like, that's a lot of ephemera. <laughs> I have so much ephemera for this collection and I have very, very little paper. Um, it's dwindling um, and I really want to kill this collection this month. And so I decided, you know what? All of those circles are going to be all kinds of ephemera pieces for me. So I get a ton of ephemera on this layout. So I am going to take um, several of the like card. They're not really cards, but they're kind of like cards. Some are like little frames and they have sayings on them. I am going to use those as layers behind my photo. So I'm going to do one big layer on the top photo in the right and then one big layer on the bottom. And then I am just going to scatter things from the from corner to corner. Very much a diagonal design. So I even cut this wreath in half and get a little more greenery. Um, so yeah. So I decided to do that little house because, um, I mean, the Grand Canyon is basically in our backyard. It's in our home state, so totally works. Um, I love this saying that says always and forever. So this is a picture of my husband and I. Um, so the kids took our picture and then we decided to kiss. And we like to gross our children out all the time because, you know, that's fun, right? Um, and Julianne was like, Mom, Dad, because, you know, we're in public. Um, so it was kind of funny. So I just thought, you know what, this is this is perfect. I'm going to make it a little bit of a lovey-dovey page. Um, so I've got the always and forever. I did a piece of ephemera that says family favorite because, you know, she she loves when, when we do this. Um, 
I also thought it was funny. I added this piece that says embrace the chaos. So you can look at it two ways. He's either the chaos or I'm the chaos because we're embracing. <laughs> so there's that. And then um, that little piece up at the top says you are the butter to my bread and the breath to my life from Julia Child. And I thought that was super sweet. So that's going to go in there. Um, I am going to use a couple of these. They're the foam thickers. I get uh, two phrases. One says, laughed often, love much. Uh, I get a couple of hearts and my title, which is love. Now, another sticker was on top of that love, so it kind of tore it a little bit. So I ended up just adding another heart over where it kind of damaged it. Um, I think it's because my room is so cold. There's not like adequate temperature regulation. So I think that's the reason for that. Um, added a couple of puffy stickers and then I am going to do some sequins. These are Home Sweet Home from Spiegel Mom Scraps, which is you know, my favorite sequin company. And, um, this particular collection is just absolutely perfect, um, with, with this simple stories collection. And, um, <laughs> a very sweet subby asked me, where is your pineapple dish? And I was like, wow, I, I am really, really lazy. That pineapple dish is was literally sitting up there, but it had other sequins in it. And I just didn't take the time to put those sequins away so that I could pour my new ones in. So I did it. So there we go. There is my pineapple dish. I use my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to do a couple of drops of glue. And then I use my Crystal Katana to put down all of the sequins. So there is my layout. I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely um, head over to the Facebook group and play along. Um, you can always win a prize at the end of the month. And we'd love to see your, your take on this sketch. So there is mine. So remember to wear your crown. And I will see you tomorrow with another sketch. Bye.